everybody, it's Paige, and today's video is going to be an updated everyday makeup drawer video. I haven't done one of these since December, and it's already mid-March, so it's time that I do a new one. I didn't clean up my filming desk or anything like that, I just wanted to show you what this actually looks like. So, as you can see, it's quite messy. This is everything that I've had in my everyday makeup drawer for the past three months or so. I have a bunch of products accumulated on top from different things. I just ordered some more scrunchies and stuff from lovely Lox Design. I will link her Etsy shop down below. She makes the cutest scrunchies and little turbans and things. So yeah, her Etsy shop will be linked down below. I also have this PR package from Sol de Janeiro. They just released a new perfume. Actually, I don't know if it's for sale yet, but they sent it to me as PR and I literally freaked and I am very happy to report that it does smell like the original Bum Bum Cream and I love it so much. So <laughs> I consider this kind of like an early birthday present. My birthday is March 23rd and I'm so excited. I'm gonna be 23 on the 23rd. Um, I just have some random stuff over here and then of course my bling brushes which I really need to clean today as well but that'll be a whole separate thing so um, I'm gonna show everything that was in here and then I'm gonna show you guys all of the new stuff that I'm going to be playing with for the next few months. I also wanted to mention that my nails look like an absolute train wreck because I just took off my acrylics and they're just not looking their best. So we're gonna start over here. This is a little pack, not a little pack, it's a full size pack of the Kylie Skin Makeup Wipes. I've only used like two of those, so I don't know how I feel about them yet. I've been making a conscious effort to not use as many makeup wipes because they're obviously not good for the environment, but I still have two packs left, so I'm going to keep those and use them up while I have them. I have two setting sprays here. This is the Jeffree Star and Morphe setting spray. This is actually empty, so um, I don't know why that's still in here, but I'm going to take that out. I also have the Smashbox Photo Finish Primer Water. I'm going to take this out as well. Um, I have my Laneige Lip Sleeping Mask. This is my favorite lip treatment ever. I love it so much. I use it all the time. I'm definitely going to be keeping this in here. I have this Watermelon Glow Ultra Fine Mist from Glow Recipe. I'm literally almost done with this, so I am going to keep this in the drawer as well until I use it up. I have this Juno & Co. Moonshine Miracle Cream in here. It's literally almost empty. Um, I have maybe like a one or two uses left in here, but I'm going to scrape it clean, so I'm going to keep that in here as well, but I do have a backup, and I will be opening up that backup and putting it in the drawer. I keep it over here because it doesn't fit with the rest of my primers, which are that way. <laughs> I have a little fan thing in here that I'll keep, hand sanitizer. Um, let me just make sure. Oh, we have our Juno & Co sponge. There's definitely something else back here. Oh, a little perfume. By the way, this desk is from Ikea. It's called the Malm Desk. I will link it down below. And then all of these organizers I got in a big, whoops, set from Marshalls. They were on clearance and I love them so much. They work really well for this desk. I got them a long time ago, but I've seen them there several times in different colors. So I uh, just wanted to throw that out there. I am going to speed through the sorting process of the lip products just to save us some time, but I'll go through each product that I'm keeping in here and then taking out. By the way, I'm really sorry if you can hear my dogs barking throughout this video. They've been really chatty today for some reason. Also, the reason that I would keep things in here is because I either cannot live without them or I don't feel like I got enough use out of them while they were in the drawer. The purpose of this everyday makeup drawer thing is to help me cycle through my products so that I don't get stuck using the same exact thing for the rest of my life and then I have like so much left that's untouched. Um, so yeah, anyway, we're gonna go ahead and get into the lip products. Now I'm going to be going through all the products that I'm taking out from the lipstick drawer. So we've got the Galaxy Lip Scrub from Lush and the Lemon Sucker Lip Scrub from Jeffree Star Cosmetics. I love both of these products, but I'm ready to switch up the flavors. 
I love both of these lipsticks, but I'm going to be taking both of these out. We have Beige in Time from Laura Mercier and number 85 from YSL. I'm also going to be taking out the Morphe Liquid Lipstick in the shade Hot Shot and the ColourPop Ultra Blotted Lip in the shade Scenic Route. I'm taking out the Bodyography Liquid Lipstick in the shade Basic. I love both of these glosses so much. However, I will be taking them out of my drawer. We have the gloss from the Shane Dawson and Jeffree Star Cosmetics collab and then the Lunar Beauty Lip Gloss in the shade Enchanted. Enchantment. I'm also going to be taking out these two glosses. We have the Kylie gloss in the shade One in a Billion and then the Fenty gloss bomb in the shade Pretty Please. The last lip products that I'm going to be taking out are these three lip liners. We have the NYX lip liner in the shade Nude Pink, Jeffree Star lip liner in the shade Mannequin, and then my Christian Louboutin lip liner. For products that I'm keeping in my drawer, we have the Morphe Liquid Lipstick in the shade Virgin. I cannot live without this product. It is my everyday liquid lip. I love it. It's my perfect nude. It's my favorite liquid lipstick of all time. And then we also have the Laura Lee Los Angeles lipstick in the shade Mai Tai, which is a gorgeous shade and I think it's going to be perfect for spring. I'm keeping these two lip glosses in here. We have the Marc Jacobs lip gloss in the shade Sugar Sugar and the Alamar Cosmetics lip gloss in the shade Miami Spice Latte. I have two lip glosses from With Love Cosmetics. I love the packaging of these products, but I actually decided I'm going to keep the shade Barely There in my drawer and I'm going to take on the cheek out. I'm gonna keep the shade B-I-T-C-H Perfect from Charlotte Tilbury in my everyday makeup drawer. And then I have a bunch of lip liners that I've been loving recently and I want to keep in my everyday makeup drawer. I feel like I have too many here, but at the same time, I switch up my lip liner a lot. So yeah, I'm gonna be keeping all these in the drawer and then I might add like one or two from my makeup room. We've got Love Bite from Morphe. I have two KKW Beauty lip liners. Both of these I am in love with. This is like my favorite lip liner formula at the moment. We have the shade one and the shade 0.5. Charlotte Tilbury in the shade Pillow Talk is a must. I just added this lip liner to my everyday makeup drawer. This is the Alamar Cosmetics lip liner in the shade Dulce. And then I have two Patrick Ta lip liners in the shades She's Proud and She's Humble. I just found another lip product. This is the Charlotte Tilbury lip gloss in the shade Ibiza Nights. I'm definitely going to be keeping this in here. This color and the shade Blondie are my two favorites. I love them so much. These two containers have blushes, bronzers, and highlighters. I'm gonna start with this product right here. This is from Dior, and in my last everyday makeup drawer, I mentioned that I had only used this one once, but I really liked it. Since then, I have used it several times, but I've only used this shade. But as you can see, I've gotten quite a bit of use out of it. The pattern is almost completely gone. I love this a lot. This is the Dior Backstage Contour Palette, um, but I will be taking it out since I did get quite a bit of use out of it. This is my Chanel Soleil Tende Chanel. I put this in here after the Tati Beauty Blendiful came out to see if I would start using this more, which I haven't, but I really need to because I spent a lot of money on this, so I will be keeping this in the drawer. This is the Kevin Aquan Sculpting Powder in the shade Medium. I hadn't tried this in my last everyday makeup drawer, and I still haven't tried it, so I'm actually going to go ahead and declutter this product since it's really, really nice, and I haven't used it yet, and I don't see myself using it anytime soon. This is the Charlotte Tilbury Swish and Glow Blusher in the shade Pillow Talk. I got tons of use out of this. I love this product, but I will be taking it out of my everyday makeup drawer. This is the Laura Mercier Face Illuminator in the shade Indiscretion. I've gotten so much use out of this product. I love it so much, but I will be taking it out of my drawer. This hurts me, but I need to give some other highlighters a chance. This is the NARS highlighter in the shade Fort de France. I got some use out of this, not a ton, but I will be taking it out of my everyday makeup drawer to make room for different items. This is the Lunar Beauty Moon Prism Powder in the shade Venus. I absolutely love this highlighter. It's amazing, but like I said with the other highlighters, I need to take it out to make room for new stuff. This is Champagne Pop from Becca. I'm also going to take this out to make room for some new highlighters. This is a mini highlighter from Fenty Beauty. I got it in a little set. And this is in the shade Sandcastle. And this is incredible, but they don't sell it in the full size anymore. They used to have it in like a split pan with this shade and then like a light blue shade, but it's not on the Sephora website anymore, which makes me so sad. So because of that, I'm going to take this out of my everyday makeup drawer so that I don't keep using it when you guys can't, like, get it. And then I'm going to take out both of these Artist Couture products. We have Coco Bling, and then we have Spotlight Glitz. 
And then here we have all of my eye products. So we've got brow products, eye primers, mascaras, eyeliners, all kinds of stuff like that. So once again, I'm going to speed through this and then I'll show you each item that I'm keeping in the drawer and then taking out. For mascara, I'm going to go ahead and get rid of both of these since they're both dried up. We have the Stila Huge Extreme Lash Mascara and the Lash Blowout from It Cosmetics. I'm taking out my Joa Brow Pencil and my Benefit Brow Styler just because I've been using these a lot recently and I'm going to try some new brow products. I had this ABH Dip Brow in here, the last everyday makeup drawer, and I haven't used it since, and I really want to start using this, so I am going to keep this in here. I'm also going to keep this e.l.f. brow pencil in here. I've been really enjoying this. And then I have these two brow gels. I just opened up a new Anastasia Beverly Hills one since my other one was completely empty. And then I also have the Essence Lash and Brow Gel Mascara. I'm going to keep my Milk Makeup Kush Grow House Lash and Brow Serum in here. I haven't been very good at being consistent with this, so I really want to try to do that since I spent like $50 on this. I need to be disciplined. I'm going to keep both of these eyeshadow bases in here. We have the P. Louise base in the shade 2 and then the MAC pink pot in the shade painterly. I have six mascaras that are currently open and still good. So we've got the Buxom, I already forgot what this is called, Extrovert Mascara. This is a new mascara. I have the L'Oreal Voluminous Carbon Black Mascara and then the Pat McGrath Fetish Eyes Mascara. These are the other three open mascaras I have. We have Glossier Lash Slick, the Dang Girl from Too Faced, and then the Believe Beauty Extended Lash Lengthening Mascara. I'm going to keep the Roller Eye Bright Pencil from Benefit in here, as well as the Hank and Henry Slick With It Eyeliner. We are done with the first half of the drawer. Now we're going to move on to the second half. Here we have the other half of my drawer. We've got lashes and tools in this compartment. We've got foundations, powders, primers, concealers, and then palettes. For this section here, I have lots of setting powder all over these lashes, so I really just need to clean up these products. I have all of my tools and my lash glue in here, but for the most part, nothing is going to change. Oh, other than the fact that I will take out um, Mrs. Claus and Candy Cane because those are both um, from the Christmas collection, which is no longer available. So I will take those out and I'll look through my drawer and pick two new ones or at least one new one. Oh, I have two Camellas. So I'll pick two new pairs of lashes to put in here. But other than that, I'm just going to clean the products and then put them back in the drawer. Now this is where it starts to get really hard because a lot of these products I really love and I want to keep in here, but I really do need to start switching things up a little bit. I have my Believe Beauty foundations in here, which I absolutely love. Both of these are in the shade Nude, which is the current shade that I've been using. Prior to this, I was using Soft Beige, but I am as pale as I can be right now, so I'm going to go ahead and keep both of those in the drawer. I will take out my Too Faced uh, Born This Way foundation. It's a little bit too deep for me at the moment. It's in the shade Nude, um, so I'm going to go ahead and take that out and pick a different one to add in here. If you have seen my videos before, you will know that I have been absolutely raving about both of these powders, especially the Huda Beauty one recently. So what I'm going to do is keep the Huda Beauty one in my drawer and I will take out the Jeffree Star one because I need to add a new powder here, but I'm not ready to stop using the Huda Beauty one yet. In this container here, I have primers and concealers. This drawer is going to change up quite a bit. I'm taking out all three of these primers. We have the Kylie Primer, the Pat McGrath Skin Fetish Sublime Perfection Primer, and the Smashbox Photo Finish Primer Oil. These have been my favorite concealers for a really long time. I still absolutely love them, but I do need to start incorporating some other ones on my channel. So I will be keeping the Benefit ones in here, but I am going to take out all of these Jeffree Star ones. And then finally, we have palettes. I have eyeshadow palettes and face palettes in here. Um, most of this is going to change. I do have my two With Love Cosmetics glitter palettes on top of my desk, which will be staying there. I also have some highlighters that I have been keeping on top of my desk right over here. The Jaclyn Hill Cosmetics highlighters, all different sorts. And then the Jeffree Star Cosmetics 
um, extreme frost highlighters so I might move those around but I'm gonna fast forward through this part and then show you what I'm keeping in here and what I'm taking out All right, so I'm only keeping three palettes in my drawer. We have the Nudie Patootie palette from Laura Lee Los Angeles. I used this once, I think, and um, I actually didn't love it. Like, I didn't have the best experience, so I do want to keep that in here. I also, I think I might take this one out, actually, the Strawberry Dream palette. And then this is the Mercury Retrograde palette. I can't open it. Um, this is actually something that I have loved. And I bought it because I was really excited about it. It was pretty. Then I kind of had a little bit of buyer's remorse because I was like, do I really need that? Like, did I really need to spend $65 on this or however much it was? But ever since I started using it, I have fallen in love with it. I did my eyeshadow the other day and I was like, oh my god, my eyeshadow looks so amazing. Like, I wanted to like go out and show it off to the world. But obviously with everything that's going on, I just um, stayed at home. And I ended up taking it off and we rode bikes. But <laughs> anyway, I love this palette. I will be keeping it in here. I've used it like four times or so. Um, everything that I'm taking out... Um, I'm not getting rid of anything, but I'm just going to go ahead and put them back in my drawers. We have the Strawberry Dream from Lunar Beauty, um, the Mirage palette from Profusion, this NARS Holiday palette, this Charlotte Tilbury quad. This is like a bronzer and highlight duo from Charlotte Tilbury. This is the Orange You Glad palette, and I haven't used this yet, but... Um, I feel like it's not very seasonally appropriate at the moment, so I'm just going to go ahead and take that out. If I want to use it, fine, I can reach for it. This is something that I have had in my everyday makeup drawer for two rounds now, and I've only used it like twice. So I'm going to go ahead and take it out because, I don't know, for some reason I'm just not really feeling these colors right now. I feel like this is like a winter fall palette and even though technically it's winter it's like 80 degrees here and it feels like summer so I'm gonna just take that out for now and try something new um, I'm also taking out this Kylie palette which is really nice this is the blushing and Bali palette I love this blush right here but I'm gonna take that out I'm gonna take out my Jackie Ina palette I'm also taking out this with love cosmetics Tis the Season palette, that's like a holiday one. This is the Benefit Cheek Leader palette. I love this. I always have a Benefit palette in my drawer, but they actually just came out with a new one, so I'm going to put that in here instead of this one. I do believe this was discontinued, which breaks my heart. This one and the Brown Squad one, but I'm still going to keep them and use them because these Benefit Cheek palettes are just my favorite. And then the last palette that I'm taking out is the Manny MUA and... Morphe. I know a lot of people don't like this palette, but personally, I really enjoy it. I find that it's really nice for an, a natural makeup day, which I don't always go for that, but when I do go for that, I've been loving using this. I had my makeup done with this palette in a couple of my videos recently, and I really liked how it turned out, so um, I got some good use out of it, but I will be taking it out of the drawer. So this is everything that I am taking out of my everyday makeup drawer. Now I'm going to put all this stuff away and we're gonna go hunt for some new stuff to put in here. All right, so now we're in my beauty room. It's currently a complete mess. I'm sort of in the middle of a declutter. If you haven't seen my part one to my declutter series, I will link it down below. I decluttered my primers, foundations, concealers, and powders. I already have a start on some products that I want to put in my everyday makeup drawer. These are ones that I already had set aside, but I am going to go through each category. So first we've got primers. So these are the ones that were already in my everyday makeup drawer. So I think I'm going to pick like two or three. Um, hmm, this is hard. Oh, I definitely want to try some of these new Laura Mercier primers. This one here is the Illuminating Primer. So I'm going to pick this one as well as... The hydrating one which 
is this light blue one. Is this light blue or is it white? <laughs> I can't tell. Oh, and then I definitely want to try this Good Molecules Primer. Here is my foundation drawer. I'm not really sure if any of these foundations are really going to match me right now. Um, I am going to grab this one here from CoverGirl, I think it is. Um, I got this one in December and I haven't gotten a chance to try it yet. It's the Clean Matte Foundation. I think everything else is too dark for me right now for the most part. Um, I plan on taking out this Joa foundation really soon and trying that out again. That used to be one of my favorites, but I haven't used it in a really long time. So I guess the only foundation that I'm going to pull out is this one since I use the Believe Beauty one like every single day. For powder, I think I'm only... Okay, well, actually, I'm going to take <laughs> this one out. This is the RCMA No Color Powder Pressed, which I haven't tried yet. So I definitely want to give that a shot. Um, and then I'm trying to figure out, I think I'll pick one more loose powder. I haven't used this Maybelline one in a really long time. This is the loose finishing powder. I recall really liking this. I think I used up, yeah, most of this one here. I'm going to go ahead and grab the lighter shade. This is 05 Fair. Then for concealer, I definitely want to grab a drugstore option. So I think... Um, I'm gonna pull out this CoverGirl concealer because I really want to try that as well as this one. This is the Wet n Wild uh, Photo Focus Concealer. This is like a newer product, so I'll grab that one. Oh, and then I'll also get this ColourPop one. This is the Pretty Fresh Concealer from ColourPop. I also haven't tried this Huda Beauty one, so I'm gonna grab this one as well. For setting spray, one I put in my empties, and then here is the other one. I have yet to go through my setting spray drawer. This is a very embarrassing drawer. <laughs> um, so let's see, I, am, I think I'm gonna pick two. I have the Glow Recipe one in there now. I think I'll take this NYX one. This is the Bear With Me. I don't think I've used that one yet. And then I'll also grab the Farsali Rose Gold Skin Mist. For blush bronzer and highlight, I'm pretty much starting fresh aside from my Chanel Cream Bronzer. So um, I have lots that I can pick from. I have my blush drawer here. I also have my bronzer drawer here. I have like four highlighter drawers. Um, but I have a ton of like new products that I want to try some stuff from. I really want to try this Lottie London blush. I featured this in a recent PR haul. This is in the shade Drake. So this is the peacher one. I'm going to add that. I also want to add these like cokey highlighters that I got. I'm also going to add this blush from Laura Mercier. This is in the shade Strawberry. This is the rest of my PR stuff from that haul that I need to go through and put away. I think most of this is like lip and eye products. So I have two blushes and two highlighters picked out. I'm going to look here at bronzers. I think I'm going to pick this e.l.f. bronzer. This is a primer infused bronzer as well as this ColourPop one. I'm going to have my Benefit one in my palette. Um, I'm just trying to think if there's anything else I want to pick from here. I think not. I think I'm good. For blush, I really want to add this Hourglass blush that I recently got in a boxy charm. Also, this is a new blush from NARS. This is called Orgasm X. I haven't used this yet. I actually recently hauled it. It's so pretty, so I'm going to add this to my drawer as well. Here I have all of my highlighter drawers. Also, I'm sorry if you can hear the rain outside. <laughs> it's kind of loud. Um, I don't, oh, this is so hard. There's so many to pick from. For brows, I'm putting back two products, so I might, hmm. I think I'm going to pull out this Glossier Brow Flick. I didn't love it when I first tried it, but I want to give it a second shot. Also, I have um, this Billion Dollar Brows Pencil. I used this when did I use this? What was, oh, Full Face of First Impressions recently. I will link it down below. 
Um, I'm gonna pull this out as well. This is their universal brow pencil. I'm putting back two pairs of lashes. Um, I have this lash drawer full of decent lashes, and then I have this lash drawer as well full of a lot of D-Star lashes plus like my other lashes, <laughs> which I don't really use too often. Um, so I'm just gonna pick two styles. Um, I haven't really played around with Stella a lot, so I think I'm gonna grab those. And then let's pick a more, whoops, dramatic one. Maybe Chanel. Those are kind of like crazy, so <laughs> I'm gonna pick those too. Then these are all of the eyeshadow palettes and face palettes that I'm putting back. I already have the one face palette and two eyeshadow palettes picked out, so I'm just gonna look through my drawers. This whole entire nine drawers dedicated to eyeshadow palettes as well as this thing right here. I'm putting back quite a few lip products, so I'm gonna go through my lip drawers. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and grab this Becca one that I got in a boxy charm. I'll go through the lips. I'll go through everything in more detail, like, in a moment. Um, I have three lip drawers. These are my liquid lipsticks, as well as some lipsticks. Alright, I think I have everything picked out, so I'm gonna bring this back over to my filming desk, and we will sort through everything. <laughs> And then here's everything kind of laid out that I picked for my updated everyday makeup drawer. I do have lots of space in here. However, I think I picked too many concealers. So I'm going to start on the first half of the drawer like I did at the beginning of the video and then move to the second half. For setting sprays, I picked these two, the NYX one and the Farsali one. I have the Sephora Collection lipstick in the shade Tan Lines and the Huda Beauty lipstick in the shade Girls Trip. I decided to add one lip liner. This is the KKW Beauty lip liner in the shade Zero. This is what that shade looks like. I have two matte liquid lipsticks. We have the Dominique Cosmetics one in the shade Babe and the Maybelline one in the shade Loyalist. I picked out these two glosses. We have the Fenty Beauty Gloss Balm in the shade Diamond Milk and the Bobbi Brown Crushed Liquid Lip in the shade Lychee Baby. Then I picked these two glosses. We have the gloss from Jeffree Star Cosmetics in the shade Sorcery and the Becca Lip Gloss in the shade Camellia. I feel like I kept the lip products pretty tame or not overflowing, which is good. Things might get a little crazy here. So I picked an additional three bronzers. I decided to go with this Revlon one. I just picked this up. This is the Prismatic Bronzer and this is in the shade Sunlit Glow. I also picked this ColourPop bronzer in the shade Coconut Beach. I haven't tried this one yet. And then this is the e.l.f. Primer Infused Bronzer. This one is in the shade Forever Sun Kissed. I have used this once and really enjoyed it. Once or twice, actually, and really enjoyed it. So uh, I guess we're going to add those there. I picked these two blushes. We have the Lottie London blush in the shade Drake. And then this Hourglass blush is in the shade Diffused Heat. It's so pretty. I used this in a video recently and it was so much more pigmented than I thought. Absolutely stunning. And then I picked these two blushes. We have the NARS Orgasm X and the Laura Mercier blush in the shade Strawberry. I decided to add both of these Koki Soft Glow highlighters. I just got these sent to me in PR. I picked the two lighter shades. So we've got Gleaming and Heavenly. These are so pretty. I can't wait to use these. This is the Melt highlighter in the shade Illumination. This is the Milk Makeup highlighter in the shade Lit. And then this is the KKW Beauty highlighter in the shade Tempting. Dude, it's raining so hard outside. The only two brow products I decided to add are the Glossier Brow Flick in the shade Brown and then the Billion Dollar Brows Universal Brow Pencil. And that completes the first half of the drawer. Everything fits really well. I didn't pick too many products, which makes me really happy. I thought I may have picked too many blush bronzers and highlighters, but 
everything looks great now we're gonna move on to the second half of the drawer for lashes I decided to add a more dramatic lash and then also a more natural looking lash I'm not really sure how either of these look on the eyes I haven't used them yet but on top we have Chanel and then the bottom is Stella these are D star lashes my favorite lashes you can use code page for 10% actually 20% off <laughs> they will be linked down below in the description box for foundation the only one I'm adding is the covergirl clean matte in the shade buff beige I haven't tried this yet so this will be interesting to see how it works I picked two powders we have the Maybelline fit me in the shade fair and then the RCMA no color powder pressed I picked three primers these two are both from Laura Mercier we have the pure canvas primer illuminating and the pure canvas primer hydrating and then the third one that I picked is the good molecules silicone free priming moisturizer I definitely picked way too many concealers so I might have to put a couple of those back because I don't think they're all going to fit in here but I did decide to add these three Pat McGrath concealers I've been using these for the past couple weeks and I have been loving them so much I have the shades L3 L4 and L5 um, I will be using these in lots of upcoming videos so keep a lookout for that but definitely can't wait to continue using these for the upcoming weeks I'm also adding the Pat McGrath blurring under eye powder in the shade light I've been using this and absolutely loving it with their concealer. I definitely want to put these two higher end concealers in here. We have the Huda Beauty Overachiever Concealer. And then this is a new Jouer Essential High Coverage Concealer Pen. Um, I have this one in the shade Chiffon. And then I have the Huda Beauty one in the shade Cotton Candy. These are the last two concealers that I'm going to add. We have the CoverGirl True Blend Undercover Concealer and the ColourPop pretty fresh concealer. For eyeshadow palettes, I picked the Urban Decay Naked Reloaded palette. I bought this when it came out and I haven't used it yet, so I definitely need to get some use out of that. And then this is the Norvina palette from Anastasia Beverly Hills. This is one of my favorite palettes from them and I feel like these ha this has some really good spring colors as well, so I'm going to add both of those. I also want to add this BoxyCharm palette that I just got in my March Boxy Charm box. I think it's so pretty and I swatched some of the shades and I really high hope so I can't wait to try this out. I decided to add this palette here from Juvia's Place. The colors just, I just think of spring when I look at this palette so I definitely wanted to add this to my everyday makeup drawer because I love Juvia's Place eyeshadows and I haven't used them in a while. This is the Natasha Denona Love Palette. I did a whole review on this around Valentine's Day. Um, but I haven't used it since and this is like a $65 palette I think so I definitely want to get more use out of it So I thought this would also be a good spring palette. This is the Alomar Cosmetics Reina volume 1 palette It's so pretty. I used this the other day and this is actually what I was wearing in my March boxy charm video um, I think the colors in here are amazing and they perform so perfectly. I can't wait to get volume 2 once that restocks. Next I'm adding the Stormy palette from Kylie Cosmetics. I ended up purchasing the entire collection intending to review it but then it got so late and now I don't think it's in stock anymore so um, a couple of you mentioned that you would still be interested in seeing a review so I figured I would put it in my everyday makeup drawer and incorporate it into some future videos but I don't think I will be doing a dedicated review I decided to add the nude lights obsessions palette from Huda Beauty this is so pretty I love Huda Beauty eyeshadows so I wanted to add this one for sure I also just purchased the three pastel ones I'm gonna do a video on those very soon and then I will definitely add those to my everyday makeup drawer as well the last eyeshadow palette that I'm adding is this one here from Kaleidos. This is the Futurism 5. This one doesn't really scream spring to me, but the colors are super fun, and I feel like I could create a really cool look with this palette. I also haven't gotten a chance to try Kaleidos eyeshadows on my eyes yet. They sent me over all five of their palettes, and they're really decently priced, and they're so pretty, so I can't wait to try these out on the eyes. I've heard great things about their products. And then the last product that I'm adding to my everyday makeup drawer is this Cheek Stars Reunion Tour palette from Benefit. I actually purchased mine from the Morphe website, but you can also purchase it from Sephora. 
Um, I love the Benefit Cheek Palettes. I've been obsessed with the Cheek Leaders palettes for the past like year and a half. Um, but I do believe those were discontinued and this is like the replacement for it. So um, I'll definitely be using this one from now on so that you guys can decide to purchase it if you would like. And that is the second half of the drawer. So I'm going to give you a quick overview. And I only ended up not including one concealer, which is this new... Uh, wet and wild one. I'll definitely use this in like a full face of first impressions or something like that very soon, but that is my entire makeup drawer. Here is an overview of all of the products. Everything looks super new and fresh and I can't wait to try out all of these new and old <laughs> products. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you all enjoyed today's video. If you did, please don't forget to subscribe and give this a thumbs up. Also, don't forget to check out, oh my gosh, this is so scary. I thought this was a spider. Anyway, don't forget to check out my everyday makeup drawer playlist. It will be linked down below as well as the other videos that I mentioned today. I love you guys so, so much. I hope you all have a wonderful day and I will see you all in the next one. Bye.